Am I live? Oh my word! Hello everybody! Welcome to the front porch of the 1925 bungalow. I'm Scott. Let me just give one more person a drink. This old African palm over here. A little on the thirsty side. Now how did you get in here, fly? I'll tell you what. Doesn't a fly always manage to get in no matter what you do? All right, African Violet, you're fine just the way you are. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone, or good evening, as the case may be, wherever you are. Woo, let's get ourselves settled here. We're gonna have an enjoyable time, I hope. I have to tell you, it went and got hot. Now I'll tell you, we hit 80 degrees today. That's hot in New Jersey for April 12th. Wait, I think I've got some lemonade here somewhere. Ah, I do. Now I'm sorry, I've only got, well actually it's iced tea. Let me set this down and I'll pour you one. Hold on. Excuse my posterior end if it's in the shot. There we go. Okay, there's one for you as well. Woo! Did it get hot where you are? But we don't turn our air conditioners on until after Memorial Day. All right, hadn't gotten humid yet. That's the good thing. Welcome, everybody. Let's see who's here. I might be looking here and I might be looking here because I've got infrastructure and extension cords and electric fans and all kinds of things going on. We got 133 people. Welcome everybody to the front porch. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I see Timeless Tommy is here and uh, is it 86 down there in the south, Timeless Tommy? I think it was, well, it might hit 85 here tomorrow. It might. But my house faces the east. Yeah. So the sun is over there. I've got the screens in the front. I haven't put my screens in the side yet. But I've got the oscillating fan on. And there's a little bit of a cross breeze coming in. So we'll be fine. Anyway, let's see who's here. Welcome, everybody. Hello from California. Yes, 82 in Pennsylvania. I know it. It was hot there as well. Where are you? I know. I know, Margaret. Well, I'm drinking iced tea out of a Depression Era Anchor Hocking tumbler. And if you remember, I got all eight of them. Wait a minute, I can't count. That's six. And the last time I was with the Vintage Vinny, I found this wonderful uh, tin carrier for them. And I've even got the big old matching pitcher. So let me have some iced tea. You've got some time if you need to go and, you know, do that for yourself. Woo! How's my porch looking? I've got some plants up. You know, I'm still working on it. Remember, I'm going to be making a valance back here, and there'll be another set of curtains. And then I've got this old bark cloth over here over the uh, transom windows on the side of the door. And I've got to paint the ceiling. And of course, I'm going to be stripping all of this furniture and painting it the appropriate color. Probably going to be taking up the Persian carpet. Yeah, that's just there for now. Well, I put it down there when it was cold. And it did keep things nice out here. But let's see who else is here. Do you like it? Well, thank you, Eli. I appreciate that. You see, I'm talking to you here, but I'm reading my comments over here. I've got things set up in different places. <laughs> no, it's not in Alabama. And you know what else? The last time I did a special out here on the porch, I told you my porch was sinking. 
And everybody said, no, 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 no. Your porch was built that way. They all tilt. Look, my hometown was founded in 1675. I've been on some old porches. I know porches tilt, but not like this one. Yeah, this porch is falling into the street. And um, I'll, you didn't come here to listen to that, but I'm gonna actually be showing you in some future videos. Um, my neighbor two doors down said the best $10,000 that she ever spent was having the front of her house jacked up. Yeah, because we're all 10 feet up off of street level and uh, we're all falling into the, out into the street. But I'll show you later, you'll be able to see where it's pulled away from the actual side of the house. So it's a little bit of a tilt. But I'm just used to standing like this now, you know, and it's not so bad. Well, what's going on everywhere? 78 in Dallas. Ooh, it's warmer in Jersey. Mm -hmm. Blue ceiling for the porch, absolutely. Got to do that. Hi, Carla. You what? You may find Tupperware at Goodwill. Folks, before we get into the um, business of the night, did you hear the bad news about Tupperware? Did you read that in the papers? I did. Let's not talk about it. If you haven't heard the bad news, it'll be floating around. The days of Tupperware may be I hate to tell you if you didn't know. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, cooking dinner. Okay, well, I've already had a little bit of chicken. It's 6 p.m. here on the East Coast. And depending on where you are, tell you about Tupperware? Well, bankruptcy is looming. Yeah, let's not, let's not, let's not. We might all, you know, let's not. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do today is look at a bunch of uh, tablecloths. Now, the reason for this is I'm having a big vintage. Now, you know, when I use the vintage, I always put years behind it because that's the way you use the word vintage. Vintage should always have years associated with it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't mean a whole lot except use. Uh, now don't start fighting birds. I'm going to be selling a whole bunch of vintage 1940s, 50s, and 60s tablecloths. Yeah. And I'm going to be selling them Sunday. I'm going to have a special auction this Sunday. 4 p.m. in the afternoon. That's the Eastern time. Yeah. So if you guys are out in California and you go to church, that'll give you time to get home and tune in. Four o'clock on Sunday. Now remember, I'm still doing a live sale Monday night at eight. But this Sunday is a special because we're getting into tablecloth season. Yeah. And so I will be putting a um, thumbnail thing in there that you can, you know, click on and hit remind me. So if you're not subscribed to the old curiosity shop, you better do so. You're going to miss something. So write it down. Sunday, this Sunday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, New Jersey time. We're going to have a live sale. And all, how many have I got? 24 tablecloths. I've been hoarding them. I still have some in the basement. I haven't even unpacked yet. So there might be a few more surprises, okay? So tonight, I'm gonna show them off. I wrote the measurements down on the back of my gas bill. <laughs> gas went down just in time. And um, I give you the measurements, give you the condition a little bit, and then we'll do the sale Sunday afternoon at four, yeah? All right. That's what I'm going to do. Are we good with that? Everybody with me? You follow me? What are you saying? You just started collecting tablecloths? Wonderful. I've got some for you. And they're all 40s, 50s, 60s. And I've got some in really, really good condition. Have you decided what color the wicker furniture will be, says Dorian McDonald? Yes. 
we're going to wait a few minutes and let everybody get in here. The wicker furniture, now this has all been repainted over the years. None of this has its original paint. And these are not terribly appropriate to the 1930s. So, I'm probably going to go with a combination of green and black. And the green that I'm going to use is not jadeite. We're not going to do jadeite green, but it's going to be sort of front porch green. There were lots of greens that were popular in the 30s, from jadeite to apple green. Um, let's see, what other color greens? Um, different color greens. So anyway, it's going to be a combination of green with some black highlights. Like the feet might be black or just different things. So basically, mostly green, just a little bit of black. And um, hi, Norma Jean. Yeah, see, the green and yellow is fine, but what you don't know is that all that paint is chipping off. I've got paint chips all over the floor because it's chipping off. So these need to go out in the backyard and be scraped and repainted. They don't match. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So, all right, since you asked, yeah, hey, uh, Timeless Tommy, do you remember that person that tried to tell me there was such a thing as Truman Green? You remember that? Mm hmm. All right, you ready to see the tablecloths? It's going to take a while because we've got 20, 24 of them to get through. You may hear an occasional lawnmower. Um, Carol, I don't, I don't know yet, but I'll take you along with me when I figure it out on the highlights to the colors. All right, let's get started. Remember, if anybody comes in here while I'm doing this and they get in the chat and they say, what's going on? And they try to bid. Will you help everybody out because I don't have anybody moderating or uh, there's not an auction tonight. But if somebody comes in and they go, what is he doing? How come we can't buy these? Would you remind everybody kindly to come back Sunday at four o'clock in the afternoon? Okay, will you do that for me? That'll help me out because I can hardly see. You know, how, you know how I am with this astigmatism and these progressive lenses. I can't hardly see anything. All right, what? Need a video of what you, 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 you'll get one, Aaron, you'll get one. I'll get you a video. Okay, first tablecloth is a beauty. And I'll be, when I hold it up, I'm going to back up to show it to you, but I don't know if my voice will carry. So I'll go back there, show it to you, and then I'll move up and talk to make sure you can hear me. Uh, and all of these are length by width. That's the measurements. You with me? I measured length and then width. That's what you get. All right, get into it. Thank, thank you, Aaron. This one is a whopper. This is for a picnic table. It measures nine by five, nine by five. I'll stand back here and then I'll move in closely. Nine by five, that is for a great big old picnic table. I think I'm too far back. Was I too far back? All right, take a look. That gives you from a distance. Now we'll move in closer. Look at that. What would you say? That is a wonderful turquoise with roses. This is a big one. Nine by five. There are no holes in this one. And of course they have the finished edges, you know, whatever you call that, whatever people call those edges. So just, I just think of the sixties when I see colors like this, right? That's that side. And then that's the reverse side. I'll try to tell you whether or not I think it's cotton or linen. And I'm okay with that. Some of these are a cotton linen blend and some uh, are heavier than others. Um, you need a nine by five poodle? Well, here you go, nine by five. I think this is like picnic table. So five feet this way, nine feet in length. Yeah, that is a whopper and they've all been laundered. So, no mothballs. All right. Now, I hope I can keep all of these in order. I have to fold everything when, when I'm done broadcasting. 
Uh, I hope everybody can hear me. Yeah, that one is um, that one is sort of medium. Now this one is four feet square. Four feet square. Look at this. Once again, I'm backing up. And now I'll move up. This one is a little more lightweight. And you can see that one has a stain right there. Um, I'll tell you more about whether they have stains or not. But this one is giving me a vibe of, you know, that mid-century feel to it. Not terribly heavy. Four feet square. And I like the fruit on this one. Cherries, apples. This one has stains on it. And I'll be sure to try to tell you how stained. Most of them are stain free for the most part. Now, you know, if you take a magnifying glass, you're going to find a speck of relish or three, three bean salad somewhere on it. You know, somebody always drops a deviled egg. But if it's got a lot of stains on it, I'll tell you. This one has some stains. But you know what? I think we can forgive a few stains on an old tablecloth. You know, it's kind of, doesn't it add a little bit of charm? Just a little bit? Let me see if I can tell you. Your grandma had one like that in the early 50s? Yeah. This has given me that early, you know, sort of late 40s, early 50s feel. Now this one, oh, I'm gonna lose my place. This one measures four and a half by five. Four and a half by five. We've got 259 people and only 124 thumbs up. Come on. Give me a thumbs up, won't you? While I have a little more iced tea. Okay. This one measures four and a half by four. And this one has a surprise. This one has, what kind of bird is that? It's a bluebird, sparrow. Looks like a little sparrow, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, do you want to see the surprise? The surprise is Granny went to 4-H, and she decided to do some cross-stitching on it. And so somebody cross-stitched a pattern, and I'm going to back up and let you see it. But looky there. Isn't that pretty? Did you give me a thumbs up? Thank you, Diana. All right. So let me back up and let you see all of the little cross-stitch that somebody did on it that was added to it. Can you see it now? See, I have to back up so far. Yeah. I'll come back in now. So you get that wonderful sort of 1950s, 60s. I know the birds are upside down now. And then there's the, uh... oh, gosh, this is not easy. There's the cross stitch part there. Justine, did you go to uh, 4-H? Embroidery. All right. That was number three. Here comes number four. And I love the colors on number four. All right. Number four measures four and a half by four and a half. Now, these are rough measurements because I didn't want to get into a bunch of inches. So, it's, you know, it, it's when, when I say four and a half, it could be instead of four and six inches, it could be four and eight inches, you know. So, estimates. I did measure them with a yardstick, but I just went by feet. So, four and a half by four and a half on this 
I should have sold this for Easter time. Look at the colors on that. Now this feels like linen. This is more of a lightweight. Take a look at that one. So this one has more of a light, a lighter feel to it. And you can actually almost see through it. So this is, this is more lightweight. And I'll back up, but I know you'd like, I know you like to see it as close up as I can get. Everyone, please. Well, thank you, Aaron. How do you like the colors on this one? You like the colors on this one? Yeah, I think this is linen, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Let's back up and let you see it. All right. Can I get it all in there? That nice? It's hard to tell which side is the front and which is the back. I guess, yeah, this is the front side, I think. So really nice colors. And sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, pretty Easter colors. But this looks like something from the, I don't know, 50s, 60s. Yeah? Like that one? Now remember, if, if I think there's only maybe two tablecloths here that have a hole in them, no holes in the rest of them. There are a couple of them with a couple little stains, eh, nothing terribly major. All right. Ooh. All right, let's keep going. Number five. Uh, this measures five by four, and again, this is length first and then width. Five by four. These aren't, ooh, these aren't really Easter flowers, but they certainly are Easter colors. So we'll pull in. And this is beautiful. This has given me the feel of the 40s and the, and the 50s. Look at that. I'm trying to let you at least get you to see, you know, the major part of the pattern on it. Am I doing, am I doing all right there? Yeah, this one's beautiful. The colors are nice. Oh, you have this one? Who has it? Somebody's already got this one? Yeah. So Easter colors... Yeah, or spring colors. And we'll back up and let you, I'll try to let you see it. It's difficult to, uh, to do this. And you know, the reason, the reason I'm doing this is a live sale. Can you imagine me trying to photograph all of these for eBay? Ugh, no way. You want this one? Well, Gail, come on back Sunday at four. We're gonna auction them all off. So, <coughs> excuse me, Sunday at four. Yeah, this one is really pretty as well. And I'll, I'll refold everything, but I'm trying to throw them back down in order. Now this one, whew, let me have some more iced tea. I'm telling you what, you'll be there I hope you will. Yeah, Mother's Day is coming up. And, and uh, picnic season. I don't want to sell this one. I like this one a lot. But I'm going to sell it. It's number six. And I think it's... Uh, the little poor little thing only measures three by three three by three. You got a little cafe table? This would be really neat out here on my porch on a little cafe table. Three by three. Look at that cute little thing. Look at that. With all these circles and they're in a wonderful sort of navy blue. Well, not navy blue, but I don't know what color that is. Blue. Don't you love this little thing? 
three by three. This might be my favorite. Are you gonna bring some cookies? Now this one. It won't be long, it will be strawberry season, right? Where are we? This measure, this is number seven and it measures four by three and a half. This measures four by three and a half. I'm trying to see if you're asking me anything. Four by three and a half. Strawberry shortcake. Now I'm telling you what, take a look at this beauty. And again, this is, you know, these are, um, these are pretty heavy. These are pretty hefty tablecloths here. I hope it's, I hope the light is okay. So you've got sort of a pale lavender color and then the green leaves. You want kitchen curtains like this? You know, I'm glad you said that. Now I might start a fight. I'm not trying to. I don't want to start a fight. But let me ask you guys a question. And then I'll show you the rest of it. I personally don't think it's a sin or a travesty. Fabric is fabric. I don't have any problem with you taking an old tablecloth, cutting it up and making curtains. That's just how I feel about it. You're still using the fabric, preserving the fabric. And I just think that if you want to do that, you should be able to do it. Yeah, I know I'm going to keep one. I didn't say cut this one up, Gail. What I mean is, let's say you've got one and it's got holes in it or stains in it. You're not destroying it. You know, it's just like, you know, this curtain material right here. I could make pillows out of that. I could upholster a little chair with that. So I think you can do whatever you want with these. If you want to make curtains, I think you should. I told you I was going to start a fight. All right, let's look at the strawberries. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, or an apron or anything. That's right. Our grannies recycled all kinds of material. I'm sure my mother made me an outfit out of some nasty old fiberglass curtains. You know, back then. Is the light okay? We're going to get less and less sunlight here. I hope you can still see everything. This one is so mid-century. Now, this reminds me of my little childhood. Because I was born in the 60s, and in the early 70s, there was a lot of graphics still around just like this. This measures five and a half by five. Five and a half by five, and I call this my 1960s roosters. Let's just look at some of the graphics on this. This is just so 60s, is it not? I'm going to try to hold it still for you. We've got a rooster, and you better look out, rooster. You're about to get fricasseed. Do they got the oil ready? Ooh, they're gonna so 60s. That old rooster needs to get out of that frying pan. And then look over here. Oh, this is classic 60s. You've got um what's that thing? This looks like hot dogs on a shish kebab. What in the heck is that? What is this? And then the sign says eggplant. I see oysters. What else do you see, everybody? I think I see radish. Oh, you think that's a fondue? I don't know. I guess. But classic 60s. Let's open it up. Yeah. All right. What did I tell you the measurement was? The 1960s rooster, 
five and a half by five. This is a nice, this is a good heavy one. I gotta get, see it? Nothing in the center. And um, I think I showed you just about everything that you, so 60s. Oh, you see pickles? Now this one, I washed it, but it's still smelling a little mothball-ish. Anyway. If this had a big old ham on it, I wouldn't sell it. Now. I should have sold this for Easter. This is number nine, and it measures four and a half by four. And I'm gonna call this purple morning glory or purple trumpet vine. Now you all argue whether it's trumpet vine or morning glory. And you can even argue if it's purple. <laughs> I don't care. But take a look at it. I'm going to do it from the back first, and then we'll move up. Look at that. All right. Now, you guys hash it out. Trumpet vine or morning glory? Pick one. I say morning glory. Good morning, glory. Were you dreaming of me? Well, now we can't. All right, hold it still, hold it still. There it is. Yeah, I, I think morning glory. And look, it's nice and heavy. Love the purple. Aren't these great? Moonflower. Yeah. You know, a lot of us, my age and older, I'm talking about the pre-air conditioning people. Now, yes, there was air conditioning when I was little. I mean, air conditioning has been around since the 30s, but you know what I mean. Especially up here in the north, yeah, we didn't have air conditioning. Now, there was always a window unit in your parents' bedroom. We'll wait until that helicopter goes over. But the kids had to sit in front of one of those awful oscillating fans. But I think we're so used to air-conditioned car, air-conditioned house, air-conditioned store, air-conditioned church. We go from climate control to climate control to climate control. And it wasn't too, too long ago. It was nicer to eat your dinner outside. You know, if there was a breeze and you had a picnic table in the shade or a, an umbrella, you'd go outside in the summer and you'd eat. Now we're in our air-conditioned houses and we go, oh, it's so stinking hot outside. We don't want to lug everything outside. We don't eat outside on picnic tables as much anymore, I don't think. Now, is that just me? I just don't think we do that as much anymore. Um... I know there wasn't any central air conditioning for me until the 19, ooh. Well, not when I was a boy growing up. We didn't have central air. And you played outside, and you ate outside, and now we all creep into our air conditioned homes, and we don't want to go outside. So, this does bring back memories for a lot of folks. These old tablecloths, you just don't, they don't make them like this anymore. All right, enough blah, blah, blah. Where are we? Number 10. This measures five by four, and I'm just calling it pink and green and red. I don't know what to call this. And uh, not when it's too humid. Oh, it's so humid. Oh, it's so humid. All right, let me back up and then we'll... Now, I know I'm supposed to know what this flower is, but I had not You'll tell me. Look at that.
You see me dancing behind it? All right, let me bring this in. I know I'm supposed to know what this flower is. Let me get it up there and you tell me. All right, now you, you look at it. All right, everybody. So we've got, wait a minute, we've got beautiful pink and green and red. A good dose of childhood, these old tablecloths. And you know, these would be on the kitchen table as well, not just outside. Are they violets? Oh, that's right, they are violets. No, somebody else says forget me now. Oh well, I don't know. Impatience. Violet, forget-me-not, impatient, African violet. Well, I know what an African violet is. Because I told you I had a grandfather that raised African violets. And one time I got sent to the back room because I got in trouble and I picked the fuzz off of... That's an African violet right there. I don't know why I got quiet. I'm not going to pick the fuzz off of that. But they have, like, fuzz on them. Anyway, put this back. Some lady told me my plants were going to die because I didn't plant them right. That thing's been doing just fine. Anyway, we'll say African violets, but it's pretty anyway. Yeah, you like this one? Do you have a favorite one so far? They are stylized. You're right. They did stylize them. I'm glad you brought that up, KP. But it is kind of a stylized uh, flower. Isn't this fun? Okay, we're about halfway through. My ice cubes are melting. Woo! All right. Number 11. All right, number 11. This one is weird. This one measures, wait a minute. Um, oh, it's a little one, four by four. We got 350 people walking down memory lane with these old tablecloths. Now look all you 350, come back Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. I'm gonna sell all of these. You don't have to buy any. Just come back and hang out. Get in the chat. Yeah, this one's weird. The, the graphic on this is just all over the place. I mean, I don't know where to begin. Look at this turquoise, like, lace pattern here. Yeah? That's like turquoise, turquoise. Then we've got a cartouche. Did you like my Antiques Roadshow term? I'm sure I'm not using it right, but you can all make fun of me later. Now, this one's got some stains on it. But you've got roses, I guess, in that circle. I mean, this is a unique one. Looks like your granny. In that circle, a cartouche. Look it up. Anyway, let me back up. Yeah, this one has some stains on it. So you either you either enjoy it with the stains on it or you figure out how to get them out. Nothing in the middle. But as I said, just a really interesting, I think unique roses. Yeah. Yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. Now this thing, huh? What about the stains? Bleach it out? This little thing, this is number 13, no, this is number 12. Now this one is weird. This measures three by two and a half. And I'm really getting a 40s 
late 40s feel on this. I'm not even sure. I mean, it's very heavy tablecloth material. Um, and I can tell you it has not been cut down. Now, here's why it hasn't been cut down. I don't know what you call that edge. You folks will know, but it, that, you know, finished edge or whatever, whatever you call that. See, nobody cut that. And then nobody cut that edge. And nobody cut that edge. <laughs> and nobody cut that edge. And there's a remnant of some old tag right there. You see that? So it's weird because of its shape. It almost looks like a kitchen towel, but it's a little tablecloth, you know. And there were little tiny tables back then, little, ki little tiny kitchen tables. Salvage. What? That's what the edge is called when it's finished. Huh? Well, I don't know about a card table. Aren't card tables usually square? You know, four by four by four by four or five by five or six by six. This one measures, so I don't know about that. Could be, but it measures three by two and a half. So it's not a square. It's a little off, but it doesn't appear to have ever, have ever been cut. So um, this is the kind of thing that I think would make perfect um, kitchen curtains. Now I know some of you are gonna scream at me, don't you cut that? But come on now, you could cut that and have two little panels that hang down and it would be a lovely curtain. That's what I think. Huh? Ooh. I ate my... Uh, I shouldn't have eaten my dinner just before doing this broadcast. All right. And didn't you love the colors on that? They were vibrant. Yeah, it would fit. There are little tables. I've got a little table that would fit perfectly on. This one I'm calling Big Flower. And it measures. Now this one is square. Four and a half by four and a half square. Yeah? Right, so that's perfect for a card table. This one, let me get back here first. Boy, this, this is really feeling like, remember the big, bold, Dorothy Draper patterns of the 40s? Now this one has a stain on it. You're gonna have to get that stain out. Somebody spilled their iced tea. Am I showing you the right? Yeah. But look at the look how bold the colors are. Look at that. That is a big tropical flower, I guess. Yeah, this one is amazing. The uh, the um, the pattern is so huge. And um, we saw, we saw little tiny intricate patterns in the 30s, and then they exploded after the war in the, in the mid to late 40s and into the early 50s. The patterns got huge. And that is just, that is humongous. That flower on there. You can't even see me back here, can you? I'm trying to hold it still for you, but it's not easy. So I don't know. But that is something. Look at the look at that. Look at the colors on that. Yeah. Now, and I love the fact that everybody is exchanging thoughts about getting stains out. And that's good. I think you should discuss um, getting stains out. Yeah, I agree with that. But the pattern on this is just, 
this is just huge. Do your windows open? Yeah, they're open all across the front. They're screens. I have screens all across the front. Now the side windows can be taken out. I haven't put screens in there yet, but, but oh yeah, the window, the storm windows are up and the screen, yeah, it's open. Huh? So anyway. Where did I get all these tablecloths from? Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. Been holding on to them for a while. All right, this one. I'm calling this, no. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna call this one apples. This is number 14. And it measures four and a half by four. Four and a half by four. And this is covered with apples. Can you guys hear the music? I've got my, let me crack my front. I don't know, I've got music playing and I hope it's not too loud. Do you hear the ragtime? Oh, you can hear it, is it too loud? Huh? It's not too loud. You know, it's hard to tell because I don't have any, like there's no sound crew here. <laughs> there's obviously no makeup and hair. So, um, oh, it's very low. That's the front door. We don't need it to be that loud. Okay. So we'll back up and let you see the apples. I'm gonna trip and fall and break my neck. Again, nice and heavy. Apples. No, I don't have a single round tablecloth. Not one. I wish I did, I appreciate you asking. I don't have one single round tablecloth. Huh? What did Poodle say? Poodle, no bathroom breaks without permission. Last time Poodle got up and went to the bathroom. When she came back, she was all confused. You hear me? If I can't have a bathroom break, you can't either. Mm-hmm. Where is she? All right. This one measures four by three and a half, and I'm calling this one red, white, and blue because I don't know what else to call it. Just don't call it late for dinner. Can't you smell the hot dogs on the grill? The deviled eggs, the lemon butter, the coleslaw. Don't forget the three bean salad. What else did you guys have at picnics? Look at that. Classic. And you know, actually, I like them with a few stains on them. You know, that's the whole point. The kids can put as much ketchup and mustard as they want, you know, and spill it. Why not? Nice. Look at the bold pattern on that one. Yes, potato salad, but no onions. Do not put onions in your potato salad or I'm not coming over. Did elderly poodle come back from the bathroom yet? Corn on the cob. Look at this one. You have a, a pitcher set that would be good on this. How many of you use these in your kitchens? You know. But use it in your kitchen. It doesn't just have to be, you know, on the picnic table.
Now this one is lightweight and it's sort of pillowcase material. So probably this is a very lightweight, this is the light, lightest weighted one that I've got. And this one has a couple holes in it. So I'm warning you about that. But this one measures four by three and a half and I'm calling this trellis and roses for obvious reasons. We kind of have a trellis going on there and we kind of have some roses on it or some kind of flower. Yeah, all right, that's what I'm calling it. Now the hole, I think this one has a hole in it. Maybe this one doesn't have a hole in it. Wait a minute. It does. All right, that's pretty bad. My, ooh, what on earth was that? Oh, my word. All right. Um, can you see there? So the moth got in. You're going to have to put some backing on that. Put a little cotton backing on that, and you can take care of that. Oh, peonies. Okay, trellis and peonies. Peonies. But it's still pretty. Lightweight, and even with that hole in there, big deal. Pretty colors. A burn hole. <laughs> Yeah, everybody smoked in those days. That's for sure. Yeah, patch it with something. They keep going and going and going. Let me tell you what. All right, here's a quick review. Because we got 365 folks here. All of these old, tiny tablecloths, vintage 1940s, 50s, 60s, are going to be auctioned off Sunday afternoon. That's this Sunday, 4 o'clock my time, New Jersey time, Eastern time. Right? Is that 1 o'clock in California? Something like that. So come on back to the old Curiosity Shop channel, and um, we'll sell all 25 of these, I think and you'll have them just in time for strawberry shortcake time. And then coming back and see me Monday night for my live sale at eight. And I'm working on another special sale of Art Deco, including some great Art Deco light fixtures that will blow you away. So I am really, really, really pulling it together here because I want to be able to take like two weeks vacation this summer. So I'm trying to do a lot in April and May. Thank you, everybody, for joining me and walking down memory lane. We're here on the front porch of the 1925 bungalow, and let's keep going. This is red, white, and blue, and it measures six by four, so length and then width. Look at the colors on this. Does this have... All right, let me back up, and then I'll move up. So this would be good for a picnic table as well, six by four or a longer dinner table. All right, now let's move in and I'll let you study the, the pattern. Really just sharp colors. Does anybody besides me remember how to darn a hole in their linens? says Judy. Perfect lap quilt. Porch chairs would be in this lot in this nice the colors on this. Perfect for July. Hamburgers and hot dogs are going to be much better on this. It still has a little mothball. Don't go out and buy some awful plastic thing. Come on now. We do it the old way here. Do I have to refold all of these before Sunday? You should have seen me try to measure everything. Oy. Now this one is heavy. I don't know if it's cotton or 
or what it's made out of, but it's the heaviest one I've got. And I'm calling it fruit. And it measures six by five. Six by five. And it is just a delight. Look at the fruit. This one is so big. So big. I can't, I guess it's cherries, lemons. What's on there? What do you see? Let's see what fruits do you see? Apple. Uh, cherry. There's apple right there. That might be pear, although I don't know why they made it red. Yeah, I see pear. And um, and look at the look how rich the blue is around the corners. There we go, cherry, pear, apple, cherry. I don't know what that is. There's grapes. See that? Plums. Peaches. I guess it's all there. Oh, if you're going to stick around, well, let's finish the tablecloths. And then I'm going to give you a sneak peek on some bizarre... I don't know if I made a mistake or not. I bought these things today. I'm looking at them right now. They're down there on the floor. I'll show them to you when we're done with the tablecloths. If you still have time to hang out. Now, I don't know why I'm trying to sell a Christmas tablecloth, but I'm trying to. It measures four by three and a half. And it is Christmas. Christmassy. There's the Christmas candle. This one might be from the 70s or the 50s, 60s. And there's a big... No, there's no wreath. And there's a topiary fruit tree kind of a thing there. I'm trying to hold it still. So, you know. I'm either eight months early or four months late. Oh well. But anyway, Christmas. We'll have that one as well. Can you, can you tell I'm starting to get worn out? This is work. Where's my iced tea? Whew. I'm supposed to be resting on this porch. No, I'm having a good time. Can you just see in the basement with my loom? Ha! Yes, we have no bananas. Yes, there weren't any bananas in that one, Margaret. You're right. This thing is heavy. It measures five by four. And I love the colors on this. Look at this. Look at that. Now, what flowers have we got here? Everybody tell me, because I always get it messed up. Look at the colors on that. Your, your mother and sister could sew. Yeah, it's a pretty blue. You know, not the turquoise blue. I don't know what that flower. It's hard to hold it. Oh, orchid, orchid. Is that orchid? I gotta put it on my shoulder. My arms are getting tired. Here, look at it that way. Don't I look ridiculous with this tablecloth on me? Ah, you got a D in sewing class. Oh, daffodils? Oh, I don't know what they are. I messed my camera up. But anyway, bearded iris. They didn't, the iris didn't shave today like me. Stylized flowers. Good answer. 
I like that answer. All right, we're getting there. We's getting there, people. I think we've got we've got maybe three more to go, three or four. This this measures six by four. Six by four. And I'm calling it white and turquoise. That's what I'm calling it. I remember this in kitchens when I was little. This is more of a damask because there's also a, um, a pattern woven into it. I'm trying to get you to see. Do you see it there now? You see that? By the way, what I'm going to do is, and I'll, then I'll let you look at this part. I'm going to actually download this live when it's over, turn it into a video and post it. So if people miss the live, they can actually watch this as a video. I think I'm allowed to do that. I'm going to try to do that to uh, catch everyone because I don't want anyone to be disappointed and say, I didn't know you were selling those tablecloths. Why didn't you tell us? So um, Uncle Henry got his mustard. Well, wait a minute. Well, it looks like Granny tried to get the stain out. Which side? Yeah, there's a little bit of mustard right there. You see that? But anyway, thank you, Aaron, for putting that in there. I appreciate that to let everybody know in case they just got here. All for sale this Sunday, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. live auction and with 20 some tablecloths 24 of them at least now this one measures five and a half by five and I'm calling this one turquoise pansy I don't know if it's a pansy or not Turquoise pansy. Sounds like a dancer I used to know. Uh, this one also has a, uh, what do you call it? Is it damask where there's a weave, there's patterns? It's hard to get you to see, but there are, there are flowers in there. There you can just barely get a hint. Is that called, is that called, is, is, is damask a type of a jacquard? Here we are with the Venn diagram. You guys remember the Venn diagram from school? You know, like... Kleenex and tissue. You know, they're facial wipes, but not all tissues are Kleenexes. No, anyway, 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 never mind. Is a damask a jacquard? I don't want to look like an idiot. Anyway, it's a pretty tablecloth. I like the colors. I don't know. How do I know? Anyway, you guys know. It's five and a half by five, but I am trying to learn, though, seriously. It's nice and clean in the center, so you have a, what, a nice white center, and then this pretty... I guess I better read what you're telling me. Damask and jacquard are related, but slightly different. Oh, like me and my first cousin once removed. We're related and we're quite different. Thank you for telling me that, I appreciate it. So, wait, is that the same? Do I have two that are the same? Oh my goodness. No, that one is a little bit different. Okay, they almost look the same. Yeah. The last two that I showed you are slightly different. That one is slightly different from this one. Let me don't get these mixed up. Heaven forbid I send the wrong tablecloth to the wrong person. Ooh. This is second to the last, and I think my, the last one might be my favorite. You missed the first hour. Have I been on this? Have I been running my mouth for more than an hour? I have. 
You can go back and watch it. I'll save it. It'll come up as a live. Saved. And then I'm going to reissue this as a video anyway. So you can watch it again tomorrow. This one measures six by six. And it's the only one that I've got that, had, that has these beautiful orange colors to it. So let's get this out and let you take a look at that flower. Uh, I think it might be upside down. I'm trying to get you to see what the flowers are. Jacquard is a loom. The patterns are brocade, damask, and who? Maltese. I thought that was the falcon. Wait, what does it say? Matlas? Matalisi? Pam, what? I know. Jacquard weave has a reverse pattern on the back. All right, I guess I need to get myself a book. But this has flowers in it. Is this a jacquard? So you guys tell me, is this a jacquard or is this a damask? This has the pattern on the back as well. It has a sheet. If you get it in the right light, you see the pattern on the back? Now let's get it straight. What is this? I'm trying to get it. So there are flowers in here. So this is a jacquard? Or is it a damask? Huh? Damask feels silky. Just roll the show. <laughs> okay. Oh, just joining the show. I'm sorry. I'm tr so I can call this damask because we can see this pattern that's woven into it. There are flowers in here. Okay. And then when I turn it around on the back, those flowers are still woven into that fabric, although it's hard to get you to see it. Okay. Thank you, Julie. So damask. All right, six by six. My son is, I'm really starting to lose my daylight here, so let's wrap this thing up. That's a pretty one. I like the colors on this as well. Sort of a tangerine-y, tangerine -y color. Jacquard is the loom. Ah, okay. Now, wait a minute. Whew. This is the last one. And I haven't decided. I'm showing you this last on account of the fact that I might keep it. You're going to have to really twist my arm to get me to sell this one, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. This is my favorite. Four by four square. Four by four. My favorite. I call this squares of fruit. Let's come in. Look at that. Is that sort of classic late 40s into the 50s? Four by four square. I have a fan. You can't see it, it's right there. Where is it? I got an I, I, I oscillating fan. I got another fan over there, but it makes too much noise. So I turned the fan off on account of I didn't want uh, it to make a whole lot of noise. But I have a little fan right there. And the windows are open, but there's just not really any breeze right now. Look at this one. You want me to sell it? Hmm? How many of you want this one? Uh, the colors are perfect. I don't think this got run through the washing machine that much. You're not gonna find one as bright as this. And I don't see, huh? That's the, that's the one you want? You 
showed us this afternoon. I did show it this afternoon. Tease. Well, all I'm going to say is you'll have to tune in Sunday afternoon to see if I actually sell it or not. You know I'm going to sell it. I'll find another one. Huh? You going to bid on this one? This one is cute. What did I tell you it was? Four by four. And look, the edge, whatever you call that, when the edge is finished like that, what'd you tell me? Salvaged. Salvage? What'd you tell me? Anyway, that's the last one. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe that I did not fall and break my neck. Um, and you know what? Let me tell you something else. I was working on the shrubs out front. I didn't, I don't have some big noisy electric hedge clipper, no. I did it the way they did it in the 1930s with these <laughs> and they worked just fine. So these have to be, now those bad boys are old. Mm -hmm. I sharpened them up a little bit myself and I went out there on the shrubs in the front yard. And the nice thing is that if anybody was taking a nap across the street on their porch, I didn't disturb them. All these leaf blowers and edgers and trimmers and all this noisy stuff. No, I did it like this. The old fashioned way. My hand killed me the next day, but hey, you know what? <laughs> That's how I did it. Woo! Well, anyway, what's on the floor? What do you mean what's on the floor? What's on that floor? A rug. Is that what you're asking me? What's on the floor? You got to go back and watch my porch videos if you want to. Yeah, noise pollution, I know. The 40s prints, yeah. What was I going to show you? Do you want me to show you? Yeah, I was going to show you something. Y oh, oh, I'm sorry. What's on the floor? <laughs> Duh. Um, all right, hold on. Everybody take a five minute intermission because I've got to bring these things up and put them on that table. And I might want to go and grab a little bit, little bit more iced tea because this is, I'm almost, do you want to do a five minute intermission? Huh? Shall we do that? You're going to come back? Am I going to come back and there's going to be two people watching me? I am going to show you something. No, I can't show you the kitchen yet. I mean, I'm going to show you the kitchen, but I'm not going to show it to you today. All right, you'll wait. All right, you got five minutes. Poodle, you have permission to use the lavatory. Unlike my live sale, when you used the lavatory in the middle of it and then came back all confused. You have permission. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay. Now, shut this door. Are you still there? <laughs> Let's see who's there. Well, listen. Um, I know. I hope you'll come back. And you know what? Like I said before, just come back. A lot of you, and I think it's great that there's a community here where, you know what? I'm showing off these tablecloths. A lot of you will join together and uh, share thoughts and memories and ideas and things. And so a lot of you tune in and you enjoy chatting with each other. And I think that's wonderful. So please come back Sunday afternoon. I have to tell you, I don't know if we'll be out on the porch or not. It's supposed to rain on Sunday. Um, so I don't know if we'll have enough light, but we'll see. I'll be somewhere. Okay. I got myself some more tea. Did Poodle come back from the lavatory yet? She's going to be so mad at me. She's not going to buy anything else. And Justine, your lampshade should get there tomorrow. I apologize. But I wanted to get, I wanted to double box it. And the boxes that I had, I got the right, this time I got the right boxes. It's in the mail. Hmm? I don't even think she's here. Wait a minute, what does it say? I know you do, Aaron. That's right, Graham Graham. What time is it? Oh, my computer is about to die. Well, at least my phone isn't. Okay, let me show you. This might have been a mistake. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're down here on the floor. Okay, let me get them up here. Yeah, this... I really don't know what I was thinking. And when you see, you might say, well, he wasn't thinking at all. This certainly does not look like the old curiosity shop. Well... Every once in a while, you know, you do something a little wacky. Well, I did today. Buyer's remorse. But I have a feeling that somewhere out there, here I am, somewhere out there, somebody's going to want these. And they're probably going to be for sale in, some, in Monday night's live sale, which is at 8. Sunday's live sale is at four. Those are the tablecloths. All right, show us what you got. Some grandmother made these for the church bazaar. Probably circa 1969. Now, I remember the old church bazaar. And we used to do some Christmas shopping there. It seems to me maybe they would give me five dollars and I could go and you know all the little tables would be set up in the basement or in the fellowship hall and everything was crafted you guys remember church bazaars let's take a look at them huh oh just now we're going to try to name them we're going to try to figure them out Okay, she's all beads and push pins. She's styrofoam underneath. She's got a little, a squishy little plastic head, a soft little plastic head. Now you know, now I wanna ask you. I think I've got 12 of these things. I don't know if it was from a kit or if Granny, you know, designed these on her own. All right, so let's all try to name, let's all try to figure out who these people are. We're going to call her the Southern Belle, I guess. I don't know what else to call her. But she's got little, she's got little um, chenille arms and little plastic hands or pipe cleaner. She's got a velvet dress and a little flappy, flappy hat. I guess a kit. This is wild, I know. And one of my neighbors, wait a minute. One of my neighbors is walking by right in front of the house. I don't want them to think I'm totally nuts. Huh? 
Hello. Hello. Can you see her? There she goes. Look. Shh. See? Scram. All right. She's not supposed to be in the picture. Am I going to be able to sell these? Anyway, that's Miss Southern Belle. No, I don't know who this is. This is Miss Masquerade. Aren't these weird? Did anybody's granny make these? I think this is Miss Masquerade. Uh, yeah, out here on my front porch playing with dolls. I think this is Miss um, Miss Masquerade. What has she got in her basket? She ain't got nothing in it. She's got a big old sort of Joan of, uh, not Joan of Arc, but uh, who am I thinking of with that hairdo? I don't know. Who? Oh, you duck from your neighbors? Miss April? Oh, you named her Blanca. Blanca. There she is. I don't know why I bought these. Why do you buy these, these kinds of things? And then you come home and you go, I'm not going to be able to sell these. <sighs> Somewhere out there, some kitschy person, yeah, is going to want at least one or two of these. Now, I don't, is this Miss Fourth of July? What has she got in her hand? She's got a little, she's got a little, um, Magic wand with a star on it. She's got a crown. See there? Is she Miss Fourth of Ju Miss July? There you go. Huh? Yeah, I know. This was way out of my comfort zone. I don't know what. I can't believe I'm showing these to you. Too much time on their hands. <laughs> how much? How much what? How much did I pay? I'm not telling you how much I paid. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, I'm not selling them yet. I'm going to probably put them in the live sale. I paid too much, I think. I'm probably going to break even. I don't... Th no, they're not... I don't think they're... No, they're not... It's not a monthly theme, and you'll see why now. Because next comes the nurse. Yeah. So the theme is really weird on a mantle. Oh, Fanny Flag. <laughs> you think that looks like Fanny Flag? Look, we had 300 people watching. Now we only have two. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Florence. Oh, it could be Florence Nightingale. So she, is this, she, no, that's pipe cleaner. And their little heads, let's see. I think the light might be washing them out. I don't know. What was I? I don't know. I must have been having a moment when I bought those things. I should have gone out in the car and sat down and waited for the moment to pass. I'm going to save my favorite for the end. Here comes Miss Riverdance. Or Miss Shamrock Shake. Huh? Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, she's got red hair like an Irish girl. She's holding a, uh, what is that thing? A three leaf. Oh, Aaron. Okay, we'll name her Aaron. Is that a clover? I'm not Irish. I don't know. What is it when it has three leaves? This is Mother McCree. That's what we'll call her. Ah, she needs a very strong hand, dear daughter. You know who said that? I don't know. Here we have uh, Miss Easter Bunny. This looks like uh, Edie Gomez. Turn your head around. Wait a minute. Okay. This is Miss Easter Bunny, and she's got a basket with a bunny in it. You see that? Yeah, this does remind you of some, somebody's grandmother did this. Was proud to do it. 
sold them at the uh, church bazaar. Cake toppers. <laughs> I'll take the cake. Oh, you almost saw the price. Did you see? I'm going to have to edit that out. I don't want you to see what I paid. No, it's no big deal, but I did pay. I paid... Did you see what the price tag said? She looks like Mardi Gras. Yeah, I know, they do keep coming. Oh, like ants. We're almost done. Now, Miss Thing here is ready for the night. She's got her little makeup, she's got her little overnight uh, cosmetic case with her. With her. I know, KP. I don't know why I bought these. Some, someone buy them from me during the live sale out of sympathy so I can get rid of them. What do we call her? She's a hot and tot potentate. She's ready. She's got her overnight bag. She's headed to the casino in Atlantic City. I don't know what she's going to get up to. No return. Oh, Zsa Zsa. Yeah, I rescued them. Hopefully somebody will... Maybe it is Zsa Zsa. Darling, give me Park Avenue. Isn't she the one on Green Acres? You want all of them? Well, Brandy, I'm going I'm to tell you what. They're going to be for sale Monday night. <laughs> oh, the, the, my favorites... The last, the last two, the very last two are the best. Now this one needs a little reconstructive surgery. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a casualty in the car. You see, I threw on the brakes and the bride went flying, so she is slightly decapitated poor thing so there she is her little her little uh come on darling fix your hair this is your moment you got 300 people looking at you all right so we need to we need to do something so the bride i know and this awful oh she looks better headless <laughs> who said that you're getting cheeky yeah i know Jackie Kennedy. So we're going to have to do some reconstructive surgery on her. Um, how does it go? Um, she sits there so half, she sits there so divine and drinks herself half blind. She lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she lost her mind. Anyway, yeah, I need to do something about her. Here comes my neighbor. All right, two more. Two more and then I'm done. I'm going in the house and having some ice cream. Um, super glue. <laughs> Marie Antoinette, the bride of Frankenstein. Huh? <sighs> she lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she lost her mind. What? Why don't you put up curtains? I've got curtains. But I don't have a curtain at the front door. I mean, I will. Anyway, two left. And the last two are my favorites. Somebody is gonna love Marching Band Girl. Look at that. She's got her little baton, her conducting baton. There you go, girl. Look at that. She almost looks like Glenda the Good Witch. But Glenda wasn't in the marching band. I was in the marching band, and we had these big poofy hats. Mm -hmm. Who was in the marching band? Come on now. You're going to want this one. 
Oh, Shirley, you were in the marching band? She's fierce. There must not be anything good on TV. I can't believe you guys are still watching me. I love her. Now, I have to tell you, the last one is the best. This one may have to remain in my own personal collection of tacky, tacky, tacky. Everybody needs a little Carmen Miranda in their lives. The lady with the tutti fruity hat. There she is. This has to be the best. Yes, there is Miss Carmen Miranda. Look at the look. Look, she's got her, she's got her. Wait, let me get it in. There it is. Look. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka. I'm trying to think of my um uh hi ya uh, South American way. Hi yi hi yi. Won't you come to the Trocadero, la da 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 South American way, aye, aye. That was my best impersonation of Carmen Miranda, and I do not speak Portuguese, but anyway, look at her. That's it. Now, I can't believe you all sat through that. You came here for tablecloths. Let me turn this light off. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Hold on for a second. Wait a minute. What have I done now? Oh my goodness. There we go. Well, everybody, as the sun goes down on the front porch here of the 1925 bungalow, I'm glad you had an opportunity to join me tonight and hang out and goof off. Don't forget. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody in a minute. But come on back Sunday. Try to come back Sunday at, uh, what did I tell you, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And we'll sell all these tablecloths. And then come back and see me Sunday night at 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll have uh, a regular live sale Sunday night at 8. And I am working, working, working on art deco light fixtures and art deco pottery and a whole bunch of other things that I hope to be bringing you very soon. Mm -hmm. So that is going to do it. I thank you once again. Have yourselves a wonderful Wednesday evening. Go wash the dishes and then have some ice cream. Thanks for joining me, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tablecloths. And won't somebody buy these things from me on Sunday night? I mean, Monday night. Come on now. You, you, the back of your toilet seat is not going to be complete without Carmen Miranda. That's it. Good night, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Sunday. Fun hanging out with you two. Let's just say goodbye to everybody. Everybody say goodbye to everybody. What about curtains? Say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> what? I will enjoy my night. Thank you. Bye, all. Thank you, everyone. So long. Good night. Good night. Bye, Tommy. Bye, Amber. Bye, Linda. Bye, Aaron. Bye, KP. See you, Kara. All the familiar names. Bye, folks. It's chitons for me. That's right, chitons. <laughs> so long, everybody. Whoo, this was work, but it was fun. Thanks for